Right, Sheila, it's around about 11th of May 2011. It's a Wednesday. And I decided to come out for a, a cycle while the weather was keeping dry. So I've come to a place called Churchill and I'm at St John the Baptist. It's locked, unfortunately, the church. But I'm out in the graveyard and I'm taking some pictures and videos like I normally do. Um, there's a school nearby, you can hear all the children running about. But anyway, I've come here and I've found some hells, believe it or not, right away. So they could be connected, Barbara. Because all these places aren't far from Roberro in Shipton. In loving memory of William Hell, died at 18th of October 1961, aged 58, and of Edith Kate Hell, died the 6th of February 1977, aged 74. Now they could be connected, you see, could be related. Because populations were small back in those times. And um, there's also a chaplain which is connected, could be connected to the Denmeads and um, Wick St. Lawrence. Got Amy Chaplin, she died in 1959, aged 63, and her husband William Mark Chaplin, he died in 1972. I'll just make a note of those because I, I'm still doing bits on the Denmeads over at Kinks and Seymour. But there's a nice picture of the church, it's St John the Baptist. Looks a fine church as well, it's, a, it's just a shame it's not open. I always feel sad when I can't go in because you get a complete different view when you're on the inside. There's also a Wookiee, Henry Clement Wookiee, died 8th of April 1967, aged 67. Also Grace's wife, who passed away 19th of June 1988, aged 85. And their daughter Mary Isabel Wookiee, she died aged 65 in 2006. Because Wookiees are connected to hells. And all that out at Shipham. So it is worth it to do them. So I should be looking, there might be more hells in here. There's one further back in a minute. Of course, there's beautiful views here, all out there. And uh, of course, the wall here has disintegrated quite a lot. It'll take some repair work to get that done, won't it? Yeah, here we got in loving memory of my dear husband Fred Hale, died the fifth of January, nineteen sixty-nine, aged seventy-five. Also, his devoted wife Ellen Nellie Hale, who died the seventh of January, nineteen ninety-six, aged a hundred and one. These, these could be connected to Alice Hale, Barbara's, one of Barbara's great-grandmothers. I can't remember what order Barbara, but it's a, I know it's a Hale who married, um, whose father was a Hale and they emigrated to Canada. So I'm just, oh, there's another chaplain there. Albert George Chaplin, he died 1985, aged 79. Annie Frances Nan Chaplin, she died 1989, aged 79. So that's another Chaplin grave. Like I say, Shipham, Rowborough, where I'm aiming for this afternoon, um, is only just up the road. There's obviously another little way in that perhaps people can come across the fields from or bring their horses there, who knows what this bit's for. It could have been something to do with cows being kept there. There's my bike over there. <clears throat> what I'll do, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk all the way up to the top of the cemetery. Um, because otherwise I'm sort of going backwards all the time looking at these. And I want to do a bit of the church as well, from this side. And from here, I won't come out on the camera, I wouldn't have thought, but I can see Congressry Church with its spire over there in the distance between the trees. 
I can see Clevedon up on right far distance up on the hills there. And I can see even further the Welsh Hills. So there we go. I stopped off at um Puxton Church, the old, very old church earlier. So I just want needed to go in there. I was, I was hoping this one would be open, but I went in Puxton, this is always open. I just wanted to, I wanted to light a candle really for people, but <clears throat> um, what's happened is uh, nothing's open. That there weren't any candles there, I mean. The church was open, but... Uh, I'm just going to walk around the church a bit, so I might just do the church. I might not um, video all the graves or anything. I need to take some more pictures of the church, maybe from different angles anyway. Most of the old, really old graves are over this side. A lot of dares, I notice, and I've noticed that name before has come up a few times. So like I said, I need to take pictures of this from this angle as well in a minute. Warren, a few Warrens here. Yeah, there's quite a few warrens actually. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, probably more. Yeah, it looks a lovely church, but it's beautiful inside. It's got lots of stained glass windows as well. Because sometimes I will try the small door. Because sometimes they do have the side doors open. It's weird how some don't have their churches open, isn't it? Some do, some don't. This looks like a real old gravestone, doesn't it? The style, I mean, with a little Victorian type urn on there like that. William, somebody or other in there. Like I say, it's got some lovely stained glass windows. You can see even from the outside they're magnificent so imagine what they'd be like from the inside. Another old one there. Great big table like one here with the little cherubs, little angels on the side there. All worn away, most of the signs now. Can't read it, but it's about a 17th century. And of course, there we got the oh, the way in there. But they're not letting nobody in. See that more lovely stained glass windows. The castle effect there. Look. Sandstone, not made of pebble dash in Suffolk, Cambridgeshire, you've got a lot of churches made of pebble dash. Down here you tend to have like sandstone, red stone, yellow stone, and all that sort of thing. Somebody's garden over there, part of an old farmhouse probably. The old farm wall and that sort of thing, all very nice, isn't it? More stained glass windows. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can probably get the key, you see. I'll just have to put a mark by the ones I can't get in. There's obviously a vault there, a big vault. Or it could be the central heat in boilers by now, they might use it for that.
Yeah, I'm hoping to go off to Rowbarrow. I'm hoping the, it won't rain because I've only got windproof top, not rainproof. Oh, yeah, there's another Dimac, Henry Dimac. He died in 1917, born in 1839. I've seen a few of those around. Oh, there's another Wookiee down there. I'll take a note from here. Let me see. It was uh, in Novin, Mum, Edward, Edwin Basil Wookiee died 25th of March 1969, aged 60. Dorothy, Dorothy Sarah Wookiee also died 1969 in September, aged 56. And daughter Jean Elizabeth, she died 1948, aged 8. There's a few Wookiees in here. I'll take a picture of that one. Eventually. Right, what I'm going to do is go up to the old cemetery at the top here. I'm going to be turning off in a minute. I can always do some more. It's only a little bit here anyway. That's obviously the church hall in there. And there we've got, um, yeah, you see, church cleaning. I probably could have got in if I'd come yesterday after tomorrow. Not to worry, you can't plan it always. They probably vary the day, so. Do a bit more of the church from here. Very tight fitted graveyard, but they've got a new bit there, look. They're not pretty sturdy graves, I don't see many. Um, two derelict types. I'm just I'm just coming up to the corner, then I'm going to um, turn off. Right, so there is a footpath, see, somewhere around here where you can go across land and all that sort of thing. So here I am, right up in the corner of St John the Baptist Church. Taking a picture of the church from here in the graveyard. Right, over and out.